Hello, and welcome back to Yumaniki Dream Diary! What in the world? I was not expecting to be back here... ever, much less this soon after ending off the series, but I just found out today that they just today released a pretty major content update, version 2.0.0, I don't know why the second O is there, but version 2 of the game, we're gonna take a look at the, uh, the patch notes and stuff, and explore some of the stuff that's in here, and this is, this is really promising, I mean, I don't know how much is there, I kinda don't think it's gonna be that much, but seeing as the main issue I had with this game was the lack of content, this is very, very welcome, and I really do hope they keep going with this, and this is not the last update, that would be really cool. Also, quick apology to any Hyper Light Drifter fan out there, I just got back to the game and now we're just breaking it off again and putting it on hold. That series will continue after we're done with this stuff. So, let's take a look at the patch notes. Bit of a spoiler, I mean we can see two screenshots here, but it was kind of unavoidable to, to see them, so... Block area, the, the block world, that one, that one is new, and... This one, where you climb up the, the pyramid, that was also like, I was even commenting on that, like, oh, that, that wasn't in the, in the remake, even though that was a thing in the original, even though it led to the same area. But, yeah, it's, let's just check here, it's just all new stages, expansions and updates to existing maps, and many more additional en enhanced features, and it's available right now, and it's free to everyone that has the game. So, 2.0 features. They added several new areas, I don't know how many several is, but there's two right there, and maybe there's other minor ones, I don't know. New concept art, some new effects, that one is interesting, I didn't think we would get more effects, so that's gonna be fun to see. Mini games now save high scores when quitting, uh, oh, they didn't do that, so my like 5000 whatever high score isn't even there, alright, well that's, I don't care about that, that's fine, and I guess the, uh, the Aoni one as well. Added audio for when the girl in the school disappears. I don't know what that means. Like, that's Monoe, right? Is it talking about when she disappears from the third floor of the school? Or at the very end of the dream? I don't know. I didn't notice anything weird with the audio, so we probably won't find out what that means. I'm just gonna continue in my old save, I don't think I need to replay the entire game or anything, so we'll just jump into it, hopefully. Added some missing effects to the mall. I mean, you mean missing, like, effects, not missing effects. Not that you go to the mall to get the new effects, right? I assume. Added an option to adjust the brightness of the game. That's actually very welcome, especially for me as a YouTuber, as I was saying. There were some areas that were just super dark on video, even though I could see while playing. So I'm gonna tone up the turn up the brightness a little bit, and yeah, that'll be that'll be nice to do. And improved performance of the eyeball wave. Weirdly specific. I don't know why just the wave, because like the eyeball wave was not one of the main areas that had poor performance in my experience, but at least it's something. Hopefully they fix more. Added some more secrets, and then improved AI of NPC that chases you. I assume just Tori Ningen, which is fine, or maybe it's even the, the guys, the shadow guys? No clue, don't know how it's gonna impact anything, but sure, fine, whatever. And then we just have like a bunch of fixes, you can pause and read these if you really want to, because they're mostly insignificant and like things that I've never even experienced, so... I mean, it's nice. Good good fixes. Always nice to see fixes. There was one that was like... Uh... Right here. It was possible to skip the eye wave chasing you by running into the alley where the wave comes from at the right edge where the eyes wouldn't touch you. So you just like hid in the alleyway and they didn't do anything to you and you could just let them pass by and then run after them or something. I, I'm sad I didn't get to experience that because that sounds hilarious, but most of these are just like... Small bugs and stuff that, again, I didn't even experience. And then we have a, a little sample wallpaper here that I have in my files and stuff. It was probably 
the thumbnail for this this video, I would imagine. But yeah, there we go. Cool stuff. Let's jump into the game and let's see what we have here. So as you can see here, this is my 100% save and I only have 71% effects, 87% collectibles and 85% dreams. So let's jump in and let's play some Yumaniki. I'm really excited about this. I, I hope it's areas from the original and not just like random new stuff. Because again, the, the original reimagining stuff has been the best stuff in this game so far, really. And yeah, I don't even know how to get to them. Like, is the Nexus going to be different now? Do we have... Oh yeah, there's a new door. I see. Okay. So that's one new door. And we still have the exit door. Oh man, it's already kind of dropping frames. I I figured, right, I was gonna show you the uh, brightness option. I turned it up, but as you can see, like, honestly, in, in this area it actually makes a bit of a difference. In the main menu it didn't make any difference at all, almost, so I guess I'll just turn it up a little bit, not too much, because just so you can see a bit better in the video, because they're generally darker. But I figured, oh, for the new areas I'll use the best preset again, because Clearly, I, I guess we'll try it out still and see if it's horrible performance in the new stuff. Because, uh, yeah, I, I do want it looking pretty, but some of these areas haven't been amazingly optimized. So yeah, that's that should be the block world, right? I assume that's the block world. That's a fancy particle effect. Was that in all of them? Whoa, that's new. Okay, I didn't see anything about that in the... In the patch notes. Yeah, it's fancy particle effects in all the doors. Cool. Yellow for the school. The last one is like teal. Desert is yellow. Again, double yellow. Teal again. And purple for my my bedroom. And then we have yellow again. All right, cool. So let's see. Yeah, prefer oh, it's the sewers! Oh my god, I'm I'm glad I didn't get spoiled on this from the uh, the screenshots. Oh, that's so cool! Yep, these are the sewers from. This is where you found the like ball blob blood thing that was in the uh, school area. Hello, yeah, these guys. Oh, you can enter the water. You oh, you can wow. Okay, that's cool. And performance just plummeted so. I'm gonna go back to medium. Okay, that didn't even really help all that much. I'm still below 60, but oh well. So that guy doesn't do anything, but does he do anything if we can't stab him? Wait, do I have my, my knife? Hello? I, I can't jump or do anything. Oh no, I don't wanna wake up. I accidentally pressed Q. How do I... How do I get up again? So if you fall in, you can't do anything. That's a bit weird. Yeah, pressing Q just makes you wake up. There we go, finally. Now I can jump, and I have Hamsa. I have the lantern. I have the umbrella. And I wanted to try and stab him, but... I guess that's not really gonna work. So... Oh! Wait, I'm like standing on top of him almost. Or is he just that tiny? Huh. Oh god, so if... Oh man, now you just need to wait all the way back. Okay, that's not tedious at all. Wait, is that the bicycle effect? And I just passed it by? That's not it, right? Because I was just thinking like, oh, I wish I had the bicycle, which made you, like, ride faster in water for no real logical reason. That's not the bicycle. That can't be the bicycle. I do not see them adding the bicycle as an effect, but we'll check it out quickly.
So I guess it's a bit dangerous jumping across, because if you fall in, then it's annoying. No, it's not a bicycle you can use. Okay. And the guy is gone. Or maybe he, I just passed him. Can I go down here? No, I can't. Okay. Just like in the original. Well, you can go down pretty far. Like, I'm just holding down now. And now I'm gonna walk back up again. Oh, now it didn't do it. Before it took like a second or two to get back to where I was on the screen. Yeah, here's another place you can get up again. Oh, what's that? Cat! Oh, is, is it the Neko effect? The cat effect? Oh man, I hope it is. And it's a tiny little, little thing here, so maybe we're getting the... I, I was saying midget effect, and I know that's like an offensive word, I'm sorry, but that's what the English translation called it back in the day, when that word wasn't perceived as that bad, but I don't know, like tiny effect, I guess it could be called or something. And there's a guy again. And we can climb up here. Oh, into the sewer thing. This is gonna take us to the sewer grate. No, it's not. Well, it's a sewer grate. But I, I wasn't thinking of that one. I'm thinking of one in the, the streets. That might also be a thing at some point. Huh. And Hamsa doesn't do anything here, no. Yeah, I guess we need, like, the tiny effect. Or something like it. Okay, this one takes us to the streets, right? Well, that's again not the... Wait. Wait, so that's... This is where you used to go to the, the barracks. So now that's different. Interesting. So they, like, shuffled around a couple of uh, areas, like how you got to them, the connections. Okay, that's cool. Man, I hope they keep doing this until the game gets like, maybe not one to one. There's a lot of areas that I can hardly even see them implementing, like the FC world and... I don't even know, I, I don't remember most of the areas, but like, oh, and there's... Wait, we're not gonna get Noparabo. That, that wouldn't even make any sense. Oh, and he's gone. What? Amsa. Shine a light on you. Noparabo was like a weird faceless ghost or something. And you got that effect. And I don't remember if it had any uses. I think it had like one, but I can't remember it. Can't kill the uh, ghost, obviously. And yeah, all these like weird sinks and stuff. That might be what they were. Like, there were some weird things in the sewer in the original. And I guess this is like an artistic rendition of what they might be. I don't know if they were. Oh, and we can fall down. Okay, figured. If they were sinks in the original, I guess it makes sense. Oh god. What's happening at the top of my screen? Am I going to be chased by red-eyed evil things? I'm like seriously almost giddy from this. This is really interesting. I am so happy there's more stuff to do. That's nothing? That looks like... I guess it's just a tap. But yeah, again, that was my one biggest complaint, just the game length. It was too short of a game and not worth the asking price, in my opinion. But I don't think this update will change that too much, but it's definitely a, a step in the right direction. We'll see how much has been added. And here we go in the block world, and it's me! Hello. Is it me? I mean, it's it's kind of the, uh... Was that the Yuki Onna effect that had, like, the hat and scarf that turned you into a... No, wait, was that the snowman? I don't know, but let's see. Okay. 
Oh, so I have to find six versions of myself in the block world. I see. Well, I don't want to go here yet then. I want to complete the, uh, the sewer or, like, explore it all. Oh my god, this is so fucking awesome. I'm so happy. This is so exciting. Holy crap. I am going to be enjoying this. Just wish they would work on the overall performance. And that takes us to the well. Makes sense, okay. So they just linked it up to a different area in the sewers. And here? Ah, now we're back. Okay. Could I go up here? Oh, god damn it. Still have that problem where I can't walk up to the up to the left and jump at the same time. So I have to like just jump straight up. No, right there is nothing. Okay. Good to know. Too bad I can't stab any of the dudes in the water. You can't just jump across, right? Wait, hold on. I don't think so. I think you need the umbrella. No, okay. So having the umbrella here is quite nice. But probably not necessary. And nothing down here. I kind of want to drop into the water here, because there might be something, like, in the middle. I kind of have to check. Yep, I, I kind of knew it. That one was pretty obvious. Concept art. I figured. It was too big of a thing to not have anything. Hello. He even waves to me. Or is- wait, is that a wave or is he, like, shooing me away? Show me that again. No, oh, it's a wave. Okay. And yeah, can't use any effect at all in the water. Oh, or maybe you don't get the tiny effect. Maybe you get... That would be weird if the Neko effect, the cat effect, actually turned you into a cat and you could run through, like, small areas, because that's not what it did in the original. It was like a, a beckoning cat, Maniki Neko, where you just got cat ears and weird cat eyes, and then you could press the action button to, like, beckon things toward you, and NPCs would follow you. For better or worse. But again, I'm, I'm totally okay with them, like, completely switching up the effects and stuff, like the umbrella doing more than it did in the original, and... Hamsa is an entirely new effect? I think it's based on the, uh, oh, what was it called again? Uh, Medama Ude, the, like, eyeball, uh, thing, eyeball hand that took you back to the main part of the Nexus. Hmm. Can we not do anything in the sewers right now? Because I can't climb up anywhere. Maybe I do need to complete the block world. Because, yeah, I can't, like... I can't go just on the edge here. No. I just fall in. Alright. Well, I, I guess we will go to the block world, in that case. Just for a couple of minutes. And I guess I'll try using the umbrella sparingly, just to see, like, how it is navigating this place if you don't have the umbrella. Oh my god, this is so awesome. I fucking love this. This is really cool. Wait, you can't climb up them? I thought you would have, like, grab animations and stuff. Because I can, I can jump up with the umbrella. Oh, and it's actually a thing? Or maybe not. Maybe get there some other way. Huh. Oh, really? Okay, can't get in there. 
Oh, that's a weird effect. I guess it tries to, like, fade away stuff that might be in your way? Yeah. Alright. That's a good... good little implementation. Oh, yep. They can't have added hell, right? I don't think you got to hell through this gate in the original, but you you got somewhere. Let's go into the bed first. Ah, and it just teleport- hello! Teleported me elsewhere in the same area. It's a bit jaggy, but that's probably because I'm on the medium preset. Ah oh, man, I wish I could like switch back and forth during recording, but it's really annoying when it cuts out every time and I have to stitch together the recording, so... Not gonna switch it up here, especially not when the sewers are not very well optimized, but the block world might be, for all I know. Man, that's just a, a two-way path. You don't like get teleported somewhere else. There's a weird like outdoors toilet right there. That was the thing as well. You did find a toilet stall in, in one area. It Was it the block world? I don't even know. You can just open it and you can like go to the bathroom. Hello. Wait, I pressed right at that point. If I don't press anything... Oh, is this just like showing you the next one? Just for reference, like, here's one of them, go, go find it. Maybe? And yeah, it's when you press any key, you stop seeing it. Alright. Oh god, can't run up and to the left at the same time, it's really fucking annoying. God damn. I wish I could jump with another key, like X or something. Can't find any key, oh Jesus. Any key you can do that with. Um, I guess we will just fall down. Wait, so you don't need the, uh, the umbrella. Wait, you do need the umbrella. I guess you need the umbrella because you would need the umbrella to get up here. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm thinking concept art in one of these. Maybe not. Nice music, too, in both the sewers and here. Once again, like, very in the spirit of the original, but remixed and new and novel, and I, I like it. I like the music overall in this game a lot. It's one of the best parts, honestly. Okay, so nothing there. And I can't just drop down, there's no fall damage or anything, so... Oh, that's where that purple block is, like, based or whatever, so we can jump on here. It seems to be traveling for a long time. Oh, is it a cycle? No! Crap. I guess it's a giant cycle, and there's a, a pickup right over there. So if you keep riding it until the very end of the cycle, you can jump off and get a collectible or something. Maybe we'll do that, just to end it off, if I can actually jump up on it. Okay, so there we go. So I won't jump off on any other areas. We'll just take, like, a, a ride around the place and see. Yeah, there's something you could possibly climb, but you would need the umbrella, I'm pretty sure. 
just get an overview of the area and there's there's a girl hello that's the one we saw so if we talk to her next time and then go back to the black thing we'll probably see oh maybe it's like you can't find all of them at once you have to find them in a specific order and the black thing just shows you the order which one is spawned right now okay so get ready There we go. There we go. And I'm dead. It's all over. Okay. Um. Well, never mind then. It. Where is it? I can't just, like, fly down there, can I? I don't think so. I could have just jumped on there. Alright. Fair enough. No collectible today. We'll have to leave that for next time. This is super exciting, though. I'm really... Looking forward to, to checking out these new areas and hopefully finding 100% of the items and stuff. And hopefully not running into any major game-breaking bugs. Because, I mean, new updates could have some issues. You never know. Again, just kind of a happy coincidence that this released just today, which is yesterday from when this goes live. So hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you very much for watching, and we will definitely continue exploring next time. Bye-bye!